Revelation 644. From the 29th of October 1938. Man the greatest wonder of creation. Thought activity. The ways of the Lord are marvelous, and in the complete insertion into God's will, man is visibly guided always towards that which serves his soul to perfection. And so all the hours you use to win erring souls for the kingdom of heaven are also especially beneficial for yourself. The smallest encouragement of such a soul can already cause it to turn to spiritual thoughts more and more. These people will see in such an experience a not everyday thing and will, even if they cannot fathom it completely, nevertheless pay more attention to the words and try to account for themselves and their further life will always be somewhat under the impression of what they have heard. Likewise, the desire for knowledge will be stimulated, they will seek to investigate and no longer live thoughtlessly, because many are ready to believe if only the teaching of God is offered to them in the right way. Therefore the people on earth should use the time and search diligently and investigate, only always by way of the heart. They should never switch off God with the most important, only unsolvable life question, but ask their Creator for answer, and this will become them then, clearly and undoubtedly. For God alone is able to solve this question and will instruct man and give him explanations according to desire and willingness to believe. It is indisputable that man is the greatest miracle of divine creation and truly not without sense and purpose so created. All functions of the body serve for the preservation and determination thereof, and likewise also the thought activity must be based on a certain intention, which aims at more than only the exercise of earthly activity. It must be clear to man that if apart from him still many wonders of divine creation exist, visible and invisible to man, the thought activity can and must also extend to such. Because otherwise what would be the whole creation, if the man, standing completely apart from it, could not make it the center of all thought activity? How would everything be to be explained if all research would appear to the man therefore as completely purposeless and no connection could be established from the human thinking to the creation in the universe? What is visible to man must of necessity stimulate him to think, and this again must let man conclude to a being to whom everything is subordinate. Where the thoughts are once in such activity, there also faith must begin. And if man then begin to turn in faith to exactly this higher being, asking him for knowledge, then his desire will be granted, and the thoughts will wander deeper and deeper and, because rightly guided by God, also soon come closer to truth and strengthen faith in man, because no one who takes refuge in God goes wrong. That should everyone consider who recognizes a deity. That this eternal deity does not let his creatures grope in darkness, so these have approached you to enlightenment. The creator of heaven and earth will always have means at his disposal to approach man in a clearly recognizable way, only man must have the full will to do and to recognize what is right, and turn to the creator with full faith, then his way on earth will truly be the right one. Amen.